Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And it is day 16 on the frozen rock. Uh, we're making progress. I think if you remember in the last video, uh, I uh, discovered that there was a new update on the industrial overhaul up to 1.6. And I'll kind of talk about that a little bit. I also did some work offline. If you remember, I was struggling to come up with a uh, uh, hydrogen ship uh, design. And so I spent quite a bit of time offline uh, working on it. And here it is. Here's our flying machine. Now, I haven't christened it or anything. Uh, obviously, I haven't even taken it off the supports. Uh, so I could do a little bit more work on it here, uh, greebling it out, but from here, I think I'm pretty happy with what we got to this point. Uh, I've got three cargo containers on there, two O2 H2 generators, I've got a large hydrogen tank, uh, forward thrusts, uh, I've got what do I got? I've got uh, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, 14, 15 uh, lift thrusters on here. So I'm hoping that that should be enough. Now, I have no idea how much uh, hydrogen these will use. So we, well, we're going to be going on a test run here a little bit later. Uh, right now it's filled with ice. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough to fly up to that bauxite mine up there, bauxite deposit, and see what we got. I put uh, four lithium batteries, small lithium batteries on there just so that uh, they will have some uh, juice for the electronics. And, uh, actually, I need to hook this up. Let's do this. And let's come over here and see if this will... There we go. That's connected. Uh, and I should hop in here. And let's get down to the batteries. And where are they at? Oh, I gotta rename them. Do all of the renaming and everything on here. Uh, small. These guys here. Let's just switch these over to recharge just so that they will be fully recharged. Uh, so let's hop out of here. Alright. So we have a flying machine. I'm not sure if it will fly or not, but we have a flying machine. It has an antenna on it. Uh, again, it's got the batteries and the gyros. I think it has everything that it needs. Uh, it's got a metal uh, detector on there so that if we... Uh, i got to remember to... Actually, let's do that now before I forget. Uh, metal detector. Increase the distance on that up to 200. And we can turn it off for now. Again, I gotta set the hot bar and everything up on this, so I don't know if we'll get up to the mine today uh, by the time I get everything done on this, but at least wise we've made some progress. Now, let's get over to, let's just kind of come over here, the 1.6 update. There was some new things in there. So, they, reading from the uh, Steam Workshop uh, uh, guide, uh, the mod, the mod area where you uh, download this from uh, or subscribe to it, they're saying version 1.6 going green. So we have new block features. So we have large wind turbines. Uh, let's just uh, see here as we're going along. Uh, we also had a uh, uh, Warframe uh, Warfare update 
uh, with uh, space engineers. So we'll kind of cover that a little bit too. A lot to go over today. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's get, uh, so large wind turbines. That's probably gonna be under power. Let's look at the power blocks. So here we go. Here's uh, large wind turbines. It's got basic computers, advanced computers, aluminum, copper wire, electromagnets, motors, construction. So once we get to where we can build advanced computers, which I think is the micro, where is it? Uh, production blocks. Right down here. I think it is uh, not the extruder. Where is it? The microelectronics factory, I think, is where we build the advanced computers. So, yeah, I th advanced computers are here. So, I think that's going to be the next thing that we build. Uh, as soon as we can get our bauxite down here and start getting it refined. All right, so that's that. Let's see, power block. So that's large wind turbine. That's going to be interesting because it's got a uh, optimal height of 50 meters. So it's going to be fairly large. Uh, optimal clearance. So I'm going to build out a separate uh, wind turbine. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to look kind of like what you see uh, here uh, with all the wind turbines going up uh, all over in my uh, state, uh, Wyoming, uh, along with all through the Midwest. All right. Uh, next, they have a full spectrum solar panel. Uh, where's that at? Here it is right here. Full spectrum solar panel. Now it takes uh, a full spectrum solar cell, which I think is one of the, that's the new component that they've added. And a gold wire, advanced computers. So we don't, I think we have one gold rock that we found. So we do have some gold that we'll be able to, to get. So again, once we get that micro uh, processor uh, built, uh, production block built, then we can build some of this stuff. All right, what's next? Uh, solar concentrator? That, okay, now that's Warframe. Let's see, solar concentrator. Solar concentrator is right there. That, uh, I guess, is going to help. It focuses sunlight to produce steam. All right, so basically you're going to put that in, I think, and then it, it's going to put a beam of light down to uh, probably your uh, steam turbines, something like that, to process that. So that's going to be interesting and fun to, when we get to those points of, of building up those power supplies. Let's see. Uh, that was the solar concentrator. Okay. They have the geothermal, which is going to be I think is going to be interesting because it's a complete system. You've got the well tip, uh, you have a well head, and then you've got the geothermal pipes. So let's see, that's the pipes, and that's the well tip, and that's the well head, and uh, again, uh, other than the advanced computers, we could build this in. Now with that, you have, you're going to have to dig down, which will be the challenge, right? No jetpacks here on Earth. Uh, we're going to have to dig down, and if I remember reading correctly, that it was somewhere around optimal, it's going to be about 150 meters uh, per second welded. Yeah, below, if you can kind of see on here, uh, it kind of says uh, below 150 meters. So you kind of have to go pretty deep on this. So we'll have to figure out how to get down that deep so we can place everything. But that's going to be a fun build to this. And then we can maybe have geothermal. Uh, they've also aluminum armor blocks. 
It's lighter but less durable than the steel light armor. Uh, and some of the changes and fixes that they put in here, uh, they've added sulfur veins to all planets and moons. So we would be able to find our sulfur without having to produce it, I think. Uh, they've allowed uh, input-output components for ores and ingots on the contract items, which I don't have the uh, economy uh, set up on this. I'm playing without it. Uh, which I could. I mean, I could have had that. Uh, they've tweaked the wind turbine solar panel out outputs. And then uh, they've reduced collision of some of the blocks to conform to the keen limits. So that's the new 1.6 update. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into that. Now, the Warframe, I just kind of just... It uh, got updated yesterday. So you can kind of see I'm a little behind catching up with the videos. But uh, the Warframe was uh, a couple of new things. So uh, a small reactor and then a large reactor. Uh, a battery. Again, now this is, uh, we're in the industrial uh, uh, industrial overhaul so it takes uh, lithium power cells and basic computers and let's see and then we have a full section down here I think that's this block here uh, some of the new stuff is uh, bridge window uh, window face uh, we've got a light panel uh, let's see, that takes components, loom plates, and construction. So, pretty basic. I think we're going to be able to build a lot of this stuff. Uh, short of the reactors, uh, the hangar door. That's just uh, basic uh, computers, motors. So, yeah, these kinds of things we will be able to build. I think a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, more for ships. And whatnot but yeah I think we'll be able to use this uh, we've got a sliding hatch door so a lot of these again uh, built for the ship uh, stuff that we might be able we'll be able to use and see how we can put play it into the game all right so that that is the Warframe and the uh, 1.6 update which is what I wanted to cover uh, cross that off the list. I've talked about the flying machine. And so th what I want to do now, I think, is finish getting this ready to go. I want to, uh, I need to rename all of this stuff and get it uh, so it's independent. And then I think we'll be ready to kind of test fly this thing and see how it works. Uh, so once I kind of get that set up and ready to go, I will uh, catch back up with you and we can kind of maybe uh, see if it's ready to do a kind of a test flight. And maybe we will get up to that bauxite mine. The other thing I wanted to work on some more today is the garage. Uh, it's coming along, I think, if you remember. Well, let's run over there and take a look at it from the last video. Uh, we had... Uh, I had... Uh, well, this is... I'm going to put in kind of a entrance way here with doors down into here. And then... Uh, this is going to be the entrance for the vehicle to come in through here so you can kind of see that we've got uh, building this out I think I needed to go one more width one two three yeah I need to go one more width along here and then finish digging this out so that uh, we can kind of just build this platform straight on out and then we should be able just to drive right down and in here and then I want to park it over on this side uh, away from the entrance so that a drone couldn't accidentally shoot it. Now the whole idea behind putting it down and in here under cover is we don't have silver yet. We haven't found silver. And 
we can't build a medical station. So that is our own, that survival kit in the buggy is our only way of respawning. And if we lose that, then we're kind of dead in the water. And we don't want that to happen. Because I certainly have a feeling that uh, they're going to start finding us here sooner or later with all the traffic flying up above. All right. Well, anyway, let me get back to, let me get this uh, ship all set up. And then maybe we can take it out for a test flight if we still have daylight. All right. Be back in a bit. Well, I think it is ready to go. Uh, calling it just the flying machine. And so let's get in there and turn on the motors or the engines. So let's see, I got my hot bar all set up. So let's see, my hydrogen tank is set on stockpile. So let's turn that off. My uh, hydrogen O2 generators are all on. The batteries are set at charge. Let's uh, flip those over to auto. And let's turn the engines all on. And let's hop out and grind down and see what Hopefully, it will sit there and just hover. We'll see what happens. All right, it dropped a little bit, but other, other than that, it's holding. All right, it's holding in place. Okay, that stuff's out of there. All right. Well, it's holding. Oh yeah, no problem. Uh, we got about 45 minutes of flying time. Just come outside of the seat. I think it might work. All right, let me go back inside. Let's get up a little bit more. back out of here. All right, looking good, looking good. If I can just keep it level. All right. Oh, this is exciting. We are heading up. We're, we're heading up to the mine. Where did it go? There, I think. Am I heading in the wrong? No. Oh, I am heading in the wrong direction. There's our bauxite mine over here. Ooh. All right, here we go. That was close. We still got 43 minutes of power left. So this is good for... This will be good for, for nice trips around. Now the burl trick will be how much ore we can load into it. All right, we're getting close. I'm starting to see some stuff up here. Ah, uh, that 
looks like solar panels. Look at this place. There's solar panels. They've got like a landing pad, it looks like, with a connector. Although we don't have a connector. Alright, let's see if we can kind of, if we've got enough room to land in here. Look at this place. Wow. Let's uh, see if. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room to land. Alright, let's kind of come down. I think, I think we're on the ground. Uh... Oh, you know, I think I forgot to turn something off. Let's go here and here. Alright, let's uh, turn the auto lock off. Let's unlock. Now our control should be ready. We should be able to lock these now. Yep, we're locked. Let's turn our engines off. Turn them all off. And I do have a little bit of ice on here. Let's uh, let's flip uh, this over to stockpile. And the batteries are on auto, so let's kind of keep an eye on those. All right, well, let's, let's, let's investigate this place. Uh, I wonder if there's anything in here. I don't see anything in this container. Well, they said they were going to be testing it, or they was about ready to come online. So I see a little bit of aluminum and stone here, so that probably was just from the testing. Uh, well, here's the stairs. Well, actually, that's quite the solar panel array. Looks like it's kind of set up on an auto... auto-rotating. Oh, here we go. We're getting down into the mine itself. Look at this place. Turn our lights off. See how this thing looks. Wow. Lithium batteries. Look at those lithium batteries they've got in here. That's certainly enough with those solar panels out there to keep things charged up. This kind of looks like a maintenance area. Let's uh, go down the next level. This looks like the control room where it was set up to run. Looks like we can go down. Oh yeah, we can kind of get actually all the way down. Let's uh, hop down over here. Although I got a bad feeling that I think, uh, we might have to do a little bit of work on those drills. Although we're not going to need much. I think one of the things in the uh, 1.6 update, it said that there's no side, uh, side ports 
anymore on the heavy drills and I think those are the heavy drills so I don't think they are going to they'll be able to drill but they'll fill up all right well let's see if this thing is operational looks like they got a programming block a couple of timers all right let's hop in the seat here uh, yeah, looks like they've got things set up. Uh, well, let's hit one. Countdown. Oh, there it goes. All right. And they got pistons on here so it can lower. And a, ro uh, a router that can turn. It looks like a camera. Oh wow, so we can kind of see what's going on here. I do believe though that those uh, drills are not going to be effective. I need to... I'm going to have to do some work on how to plumb those in. I don't know what we'll need to do. All right. Well, let's uh, back out of here. Let's see if this is filling up, up above. Hop out of here. Let's see if we've got uh, ore going into... See any here? Oh yeah, it's filling up slowly. Probably because that one drill—it's only that coming from that one drill. Yeah, see these drills are full, and I can't grab those. Yeah, I have a feeling that that 1.6 update changed things. But we are getting a little bit of. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, maybe uh, drop that down a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little more ore out of that. And then we'll kind of grab what we can and then head back because I see it's starting to get dark out there. I don't necessarily want to be flying. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got to do with these drills? Uh, let's hit four. Oh no, that reverses. Oh, I think it's three actually. Yeah. So that should have... Let's go into our view. And then let's... Uh, let's hit uh, three again. Oh, that should have taken it down. It didn't move it any. Oh, you know what? I bet. Let's go into here. Let's look at the... Let's look at the pistons. It's just the one piston. I bet it needs to be reversed. Let's hit the reverse. Yeah, there it goes. It's going to go down one meter. All right, that should be getting some ore. Let's go back up and look. Yeah, and it is getting dark. We're gonna 
We're going to need to fly out of here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting more ore now. Let's grab some of this. Let's see what we can grab here. And let's put that in the ship. We're not going to fill this thing up because I'm not sure how much weight we can haul. Alright. There's that. There was more over here. Let's grab that. I'd put that in this one. Let's grab that stone. All right. Put that in. I'll put it in this one. All right, let's go down and turn this thing off. And then we can grab a little more ore. And we better head back to base. Well, that's interesting. Exciting. All right. Uh, is it this one? Okay, yep, yeah, that shut everything off. Okay. All right. Well, obviously, we need to do some work to be able to get, get that ore out of those out side drills uh, but we'll deal with that and see if we can grab a little more bauxite and we can get this refined and we can start making aluminum plates we can get our uh, plate stamp set up so that it can uh, grab that so that wasn't too much more ore but I think that should be just about everything Alright, and nothing in that. Alright, let's throw this in. Let's see. Yeah, we can just drop it in here. Alright. Okay. Well, let's fly this thing out of here. Alright, so... Alright, good. Our batteries didn't really go down much uh, stockpile is on so let's uh, turn it off unlock our wheels there we go let's turn our engines on okay Uh, okay, it's handling everything that we put on there. Alright, I like flying from in here. Alright. Try to keep things fairly level. And let's uh, fly out of here. down too much. I have no idea how stable this ship is. We'll fly it a little bit. But keep it level. I see our base down there. We 
actually accomplished quite a bit so far. I'm always a little nervous flying flying these ships. Because a lot can happen. down a little bit. Not too much. I think this is going to be fairly powerful. We still got plenty of hydrogen it, it appears. Oh no, actually no we don't. It's measuring batteries. Alright, I know what it's doing. Yeah, let's get, uh... We need to get down here and get landed. Uh... Alright. Let's get down. We're running out of fuel. Alright, that's something we'll have to take a look at. Come on, let's get down. There's one hydrogen left. Are we freaking empty? Holy smokes. Let's turn that turn those off. And let's uh, turn that to stockpile. And let's see what we got in our let's see what we got in the hydrogen tank. Uh, the hydrogen tank is uh, zero percent. Wow. We, uh, okay, I've got to work on that. I've got to figure that out. But we did get back safely, just by the skin of our teeth. Let's turn this to recharge so we're not wasting batteries. Everything else is good. So let's hop out of here. All right. It's parked. Batteries aren't going anywhere. I need to fill it up with ice again. Uh, that was a... I might have to... I wonder... I could put a second hydrogen tank up on that. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah. I could put another tank right up here. And I might have to do that. But, anyway, all right. Okay, so that's, that's that. I think what I want to do, well, let's get, uh, shoot. Let's throw this stuff into the refinery. And we will be making our first bit of aluminum ore. There we go, look at that. Uh, that's gold. We must have got that out of something that uh, it refined. Uh, here's our aluminum ingots. Nice. All right, let me finish getting that unloaded. Oh, that one, I got uh, let's see, let's grab, oh, oh, it's because I got the power shut off. I need to go to each one. Let me grab that. Well, we have the ability to get up to get bauxite. We can't go very far with this, so I'm going to have to work on that. But let's get, uh, get this out. 
And once I get this unloaded, we can start looking at what's next, which I think is getting back to the garage. Scrap on me, too. All right. This should be the last of it. That's one thing. Let's see. Any of this advanced? Wait. No. All of this has to go. See, I can't put this in here. Just... Oh, I guess it. Is it going to. Let me see. Oh, it will. Well, we'll just put it all in here and let that uh, refine that. Okay. All right. Uh, next on the agenda is to get back and working on the garage. So... Let me go ahead and get uh, some more stuff done on that. And once I get that uh, to a little farther process, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. All right. I think I just about got the garage to where I uh, am wanting to get it. I think I should be able to drive down. I might have to shape this out a little bit more, but I think the buggy should be able to drive down here and get onto the cement blocks. I might have to shape that a little bit more in case there's not enough clearance. Uh, it should drop down over here, I hope, without getting high centered. And then be able to back it over into this corner over here and it should be protected. Uh, it would be one hell of a lucky shot somehow if it got down in there because this is solid wall up through there and so uh, with it backed down into here uh, if we're out to about right here which is the length of the buggy somewhere in here you still got wall protecting over and in there. So I've got to weld this all up. I want to put uh, basically a set of stairs of some sort in through here and have a bit of an entrance. I might eventually put a uh, front door on that thing, uh, but that's that'll be a ways in the future. I think this is about going to wrap up the episode. So today we managed to uh, christen the flying machine we managed to go up and get some bauxite we barely made it back uh, didn't realize how close on hydrogen we were uh, we landed with zero hydrogen we literally landed with zero hydrogen and so uh, I'm gonna have to probably put a second tank on there if we're uh, expecting to go any distance at all all right, I think that about wraps it up for today. Uh, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And I will see you all in the next video. Commander Kingfish is out of here. And thanks for watching, everyone.